about the VA foreclosure. So I talked about single family houses, I've talked about buy and hold, I've talked about a three bedroom, two bath, in the right area, the right market, that whole thing. How does an investor get to play the game, especially a relatively new one? I mean, when you're a pro, you can do other things, but the VA foreclosure is a relatively simple strategy. Can I get a, a raise of hands that no one's ever heard of that before? No one has any idea what I'm talking about. So the rest of you have. You've heard of it. You know about a VA foreclosure? Because, let me just say this. In 1996, I bought a Carlton Sheets class on, on late night TV. I said, that sounds pretty good. So um, I got it, went to the whole thing, and none of it made sense to me, none of it worked. I tried eight different things, none of them worked. But the VA foreclosure did. Here's the deal with the VA foreclosure. A veteran buys a house, and that happens all over the country. If you're buying a military base, or say in this town, um, there's a lot more of them, as opposed to somewhere out where there's no military, there's less of them. But a veteran gets 100% loan, plus some of this cost paid. And when he buys that home, things change sometimes. Sometimes he loses his home. So when he loses his home, the VA has guaranteed that loan, that 100% loan, and he has no skin in the game, the, the uh, veteran. And what they do is they take it and auction it off to anyone, a non-veteran. I am not a veteran, and I bought 30 of these things. So here's the beauty of it. The VA will finance you as an investor on that property that they've taken back. It's a 30-year loan fixed below 4%, 5% down to an investor. And guess how many investor can get? Four, 10? Unlimited. Unlimited. You guys have heard this speech. Um, so I see it as a unique opportunity right now. I mean, I've never seen the rates. I, I bought a lot of them, I bought a few of them. You know, basically depending on how the market was, how competitive it was, um, you know, different factors in the marketplace. So, Right now, though, these interest rates, so let's take a house in Las Vegas. If you went on the VA Equator website right now, and I've written a blog about it if you're interested, all the details, VA Equator website, to look it up, you look for a VA foreclosure in a certain town. You can pick California, Nevada, any state in the country. There's a big map of the country. And so you pick a three-bedroom, two-bath house, because you believe those are the best houses out there. Um, and the bottom line is, uh, that house, let's say it costs $100,000. At 4%, even with only 5% down, your total outgo is about $600 a month. Total. That'll rent for 1000 So you might say, well, the house could go down. It could, but you're okay. And it's a good long-term hold. And if you're doing your taxes right, you know, you get a tax write-off on it too. And the loan advertises. It's a beautiful thing. Um, once again, I've got 30 of them. I've sold some of them off, but the VA foreclosure was a great way to buy single family houses um, in all the areas. But any questions on that? Any question on the VA foreclosure? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's the website for you? Yeah. Um, let me start by saying you can go to my website, realestatenoinvesting.com, and get the full article on it. But it's VA Equator. If you Google VA Equator, it'll come up. And right now it's a little bit in flux where Bank of America had it. It's a national program, and Bank of America out of Pasadena had a center that did just VA foreclosures. They're in the process of losing it, and they've had it for about four years now. Hoffman had it before them, so it's understandable why they're losing it too. They're a nightmare. And you do have to qualify. Let me say that too. You have to kind of run their gauntlet. They like W-2 jobs, um, but we can always partner with the person that has one if you don't have that, whatever. But um, it's worth looking at. It really is. You know, to get an unlimited amount of properties with 5% down, fixed, below 4% financing. So, yes sir? Is your website with an ampersand or an A&D? A&D. Can you the I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The question was, is my website, uh, it's realestateandnoteinvesting.com. That's my website. And the question, I'm sorry, what did you suppose the question did? I don't know the answer. VAEquator.com. Yeah, VAEquator is the website that um, they're all listed on. So, yes, sir. Is that the same as the VA Vendi program? Is, is Bank of America losing it? Who is it going towards? Not sure yet, but yes. Um, his question was, is it the VA Vendi program? The VA Vendi program is 
the financing end of it is what it's called. And when you call up the broker on the property, they won't know what you're talking about. They'll say, what are you a veteran? You say, no, I'm looking at the VA Vendi program, blah, blah, blah. But um, it is the VA Vendi program and it's on the website. You can, you can check it out. Any other questions on the VA program? Yes, sorry. PITI was, oh, I'm sorry, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, was the $600 inclusive of everything, including maintenance, et cetera? Okay. Is that your question? Yeah. But yes, um, that $600 would include uh, yeah, principal, interest, taxes, insurance. Um, myself, on top of that, I've got properties in Las Vegas that I don't manage. 7%, um, I pay the manager to manage the properties. And then there's always maintenance costs on top of it. But, you know, in the business for a while, I normally say, even on a single family house, a nice one, I'll take 30, 40% off a thousand dollar rent and say, that's about what it costs. If you buy a newer house, which you can right now, if you buy a newer house, um, you got a brand new air conditioner, you got a brand new roof, all the stuff that costs a lot of money to fix is new. So there's a whole slew of properties out there that, um, um, that you can pick up that are in good shape that have, will have lower maintenance um, right now. So all those houses that were built in 05, 06, they're for sale right now through the VA program. So I would encourage everybody to at least check it out. Do you have a question? Do you go out and actually inspect the houses yourself? Um, I think we all have different situations. My situation is I have family in Las Vegas, and so I have a brother there and a sister and a father, and so they kind of go out and look at it for me. I also have a property manager who could drive by it. But um, the, problem, the issue is with, say, you say, you know what, I want to buy it in San Diego. Um, VA deals, um, it's a lower end property that the veteran usually bought. So in San Diego, it's usually a condo. In Las Vegas, it'll be a single family house. In Arizona, it'll be a single family house. So um, do I inspect them? Um, no, but I have somebody do it for me. So, yes sir. What about the underwriting as far as how much they calculate of the rent or the potential rent that they can get? Yeah. They usually go by the 75% rule like FHA and, B and, um, and regular conventional uh, lending? Yeah, the question was the underwriting on it yeah. and how do they do it. Right. Um, it's about exactly the same. It's 75%. Yep. There are beautiful things to this program. I mean, there's no appraisal. So a lot of these are based on an appraisal. You don't have that. But it's about 75%. I haven't done it for two years now, but uh, a person that I worked with last year did got five of them last year and did them one at a time because, say, you're underwriting. You know, you do one, and then now you have to get that one rented, and that one counts on your income, now you go to another one. But yeah, 75%, I think is a good guideline. Um, haven't been through that gauntlet this year, but I think, that's, I think you're probably on track there. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, ma'am. You. Me? Okay. So what kind of discount do you get The way I put it is this. The question was, what kind of discount do you get when you buy these? And um, the answer is none. Um, what you're doing, you're not going to steal the house, you're going to steal the financing. That's what you're after. So here's how it normally goes. There's a $100,000 house, and you call the broker and you say, hey, I'm Gordon, I'd like to buy that house on ABC Street. And they say, um, well, uh, we've got five other offers coming in on Friday. And you say, okay, well, what's the, uh, I'm already pre-qualified with Bank of America, I've got my letter. What's the um, price it's going to take to win the house? What's the highest offer now? Well, I couldn't tell you that. Well, let me ask you again. What's the price to get the house? 103. Okay, so I bet, I bet 105. I've usually had to outbid people to get the deal. Um, but once again, it's a financing deal. It's a long-term hold deal. So you won't steal a uh, VA foreclosure. 